our lives in a moral sense, the way we live our moral lives? No, not really. Um, nor, I think, probably should it in any naive and simple sense. Uh, I certainly don't think we ought to be getting our morals from Darwinism in a kind of um, parable or allegorical sense. The social Darwinists kind of did that, and uh, around the turn of the 19th and 20th century, they tried to inject a kind of poetic Darwinism into human affairs and morality. And uh, it, it was a kind of mad Thatcherism so sort of the, the weakest to the wall and the strongest to win and this is the Darwinian way and therefore um, it's, it's, it's right because it is the way of nature that, that kind of thing well we thankfully thrown that overboard my own view is that if you're going to get any kind of ethical principle from Darwinism it should almost be with a negative sign you could almost define the kind of society we don't want to live in as a Darwinian society, so I've always said that I'm a passionate Darwinian when it comes to understanding why we're here, and I'm a passionate anti-Darwinian when it comes to um, the kind of society we ought to be living in and our morality and how we ought to treat each other. Of course, Darwinians can try to understand where our moral and ethical feelings come from. We can ask questions like, why are we so nice? pretty baffling question in that to a naive Darwinian. Why do we give money to charity? Why do we give blood? Um, why do we feel this enormous pang of compassion when we see a, a crying child or a, or, a, or a starving person or, a, or indeed a, a starving animal of another species or a, a, a creature in, in pain? Has it made any in, inroads in since that? Well, it, it, it leaves us a bit baffled and, and um, we, we can understand it, but, it, but it's not a, not a simple thing to understand. But I think the greatest inroad that Darwinism or evolution generally ought to have on our moral sense is that it might lead us to, to think we're on our own in the universe and it's up to us to decide how we're going to run our lives, how we're going to run our society. Um, we've got to make our own ethics because we're not going to get any help from elsewhere. There is no higher power that's going to tell us what's right and wrong. So what's right and wrong is something that we've got to come up with by discussion, by lawmaking, by um, uh, legal precedent, by moral philosophy, um, all those sorts of things. Um, we don't get it from outside and that, 